Looking to stop this mess? Try Bring Home the Politicians. It calls for relocating U.S. representatives and senators to our state capitals to securely telecommute with one another. But before you can do that, you have to relocate state representatives and senators to our city halls and courthouses. This effort will officially start in January 2010. Right now, you can begin this effort in your city or town with Bring Home the City Council politicians. This plan calls for city councils to hold half of their meetings by telecommuting from their home or office in their current district using free or low-cost services like Windows Media Space, Skype, or Ventrilo to name a few for the following reasons. 1. It's cost-effective. With citizens having to tighten their belts, it's only reasonable to ask city council to do the same by utilizing technology to save on hundreds, if not thousands, of taxpayer dollars spent on meetings. 2. Citizen involvement will be enhanced because it allows those who already lead busy lives to take part from their homes and offices by listening into the meetings and telecommuting their comments, questions, and suggestions for the city council in real time. 3. Green initiatives are now given high priority in our government and telecommuting allows our city council officials to walk the walk when it comes to making changes in their own operations to cut down on pollution. This plan saves on CO2 emissions with council members not driving to these meetings or turning on the city council chamber lights during sessions. And finally, number four, many city councils still haven't gotten the message that the age of tax and spend is over, especially in our current financial situation. Implementing Bring Home the City Council politicians in your town or city will move local officials from their comfort zones to make them realize they can't keep spending money we don't have. For more info, log on to bringhomethepoliticians.com. And for our Saturday, October 3rd, Bring Home the City Council Politicians Rally in Governmental Plaza from noon to 1 p.m. in downtown Greensboro, North Carolina, go to triadpatriots.org for news and updates.